Welcome back to this quick video on making biogas and converting your waste to cooking gas. This is a DIY project with a 1000 liter water tank and I'm going to walk you through all the parts of this project. If you want to see how to build one, a link to the playlist is in the description as well as popping up right now. Let's dive into this after now. Welcome back. A quick look at the top of the tank is a funnel for inlet and the tap for the gas outlet control. The outlet pipe for slurry helps push settled slurry out as you put new waste in. This sinks in deep inside the tank and well sealed to avoid leakages. Manure from cow is usually good for the first slurry to put in and the goal is to make sure all the connections are tight and well sealed, no leakages. This is the goal and what will make this project a successful one. If you have not seen previous videos of how to make one, please check the description for the link. Here is a little walk around of the digester looking beautiful. And you can see a tube of a tire. This will serve as a gas bag to collect and store gas produced from the digester. The slurry tap below the tank can be controlled at interval and in this case, it is passed down the sewage system. Don't forget that the slurry also serves as an organic manure. The gas has already filled up the gas tube and in order to get enough gas, you need a large storage system. And in this case, we are using a tube of a tire and which will be stacked later in this video. Please note that this is a cheap alternative. You can always buy a biogas bag online. Now we have three of the two stacked together and a tire is put on it. This is to exert pressure to force the gas out to the cooking gas. The connection is like this, from the gas tank, which is the digester, to the gas bag using a one-way valve and from the gas bag to the gas cooker. A gas hose is ideal for this connection and it's always ideal to use a one-way valve so that while you are using it does not return back to the gas uh, tank which is the digester this is a good time to say please subscribe to this channel like it and share it with your friends thank you very much So let's try to light it up. I always say that this is the best test to know if you have a burning gas called methane or just air and moisture. In most cases, when your gas is just being produced in the early stage, you may have air and moisture only coming into this gas bag until methane is produced through the infestation of microorganisms in an anaerobic digestion, then the gas will not combust or burn and you may have to let it out to have capacity to store real methane. So, as you know, on this channel, I bring to you projects you can replicate. And most of you that are just watching this, I have a step-by-step -step guide videos on how to make your own project and the link is right in the description. It's not 
Yeah, it's only good to him. Oh, it's so. It's so. Yeah. So. Thinkers, we have a mandate to get this channel to 100,000 subscribers in the next 45 days. Please subscribe, like and share our videos to your contact, and we will be encouraged to bring more projects you can replicate. See you in another video.